With reports of credit card skimming becoming a common occurrence, one St. Joseph resident recently discovered she had been the victim of a new method of credit card skimming. Cameron Montemayor is at Dollar General with more. Cameron. St. Joseph News Press has spent a great deal of time covering incidents and a growing trend of crime known as credit card skimming, which over the last two years have typically taken place at ATM machines and gas station pumps. But the recent incident involving a St. Joseph woman with credit card skimming at a red box machine, St. Joseph residents should be on high alert for new methods for credit card theft. It's a crime that has become an all too common occurrence lately, and that crime is card skimming. For the last two years, St. Joe has been front and center to this new trend of theft that has left countless people helpless and in shock. Almost two years into this method of widespread credit card theft, a new method of skimming has recently surfaced. For one St. Joseph resident, a normal Saturday night trip to Redbox would soon become anything other than that. While attempting to make another purchase just days later, she discovered that her card had been declined. All of the funds in her checking account had been spent, resulting in overdraft fees that cost her even more. And while the victim wished not to be identified, she told me that most of the purchases listed in the bank statement were made over an hour away in Liberty, Missouri. While she had been aware of skimming devices at gas stations and ATMs, she said she would have never expected a skimming machine to be planted at a red box. St. Joseph is currently home to nine red box machines. Law enforcement officials like police captain Jeff Wilson said the incident was the first he had heard of skimming occurring at a red box. In addition to public awareness campaigns, Wilson advises anyone using a credit card to research images of these card reading devices to get a better idea of what they look like so they can avoid having anything stolen. Now, unlike many of the skimming devices that have been located on ATMs and gas pump machines over the last two years, that are typically located inside of the machine, making them much more difficult to find and increasing the success for a criminal and their attempt to steal someone's credit card. Ones that would be found on a red box machine would typically be on the outside, making it much easier for someone to locate them and thwart any chance of credit card theft. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Cameron Montemere.